Hi everybody, it's Ashleisha. I currently look like crap, so here is a small video of my cat for a second. Uh, this is going to be my art desk tour, art workspace tour, however you would like to call it. Um, and so yeah, let's get started. First of all, this is my cat Millie. Say hi Millie. Meow meow. Yep. And it is currently in my bedroom, so I'm only going to show you only half of my room because I don't have any private area to do it. And so let's get started. This is, I don't know what this desk specifically is called. It is an adjustable drawing desk. On top of it is my painting that I'm currently working on. It is just a regular poster, not poster board, but poster paper. It is adjustable. I got it from my great grandpa from his house. I've actually been looking for one for forever now, but it was free, so yay. Um, over here is my shelving unit next to my candle. Um, on the top here we have some bigger brushes. They're nothing fancy. They The bristles easily come out. They're super cheap. Uh, on top of here is my Bristol comic book paper. I have yet to fill out a lot. There's a couple pages. Uh, vanilla paper and random pieces. 8x10 canvases. Um, more random pieces of paper and envelopes. Uh, Prisma color markers. I need to replace a couple of them because they're out. And then here is my tracing uh, pens that I like to use. These are, let's see if I can focus, Pigma Sensi or Sensei. Uh, they come in like a four or five pack, but with a pencil and eraser. They're like $11 uh, on the store and online. They're really good. I like them. I prefer them over anything else. I've tried others, but they don't do the job for me. I use this to put on my lap so I don't drip any paint on me. Down below, I have these storage bins. On this top here, I have Prismacolor pencils. On the bottom, or the second tier, I have collections of sharpeners and erasers and some more uh, oil pastels. On the bottom is where I keep all of my brushes and other pencils, like charcoal that are HB and more refined or darker. And next to it, I have a huge pack of crayons with a sharpener in the back. Ooh. It's for specifically for co for coloring uh coloring books. This I don't I got it from a friend who got it from when he was in high school. It color pen pen trill pencil arts. Uh their markers, very very thin markers. They also help with coloring and uh making really fine lines. And then I also have a couple more things of crayons back there. Here, I have a little broken figurine. And I have more oil pastels. Down here, I have a... Whoop, that was my knee. I have this Himalayan rock that I got for Christmas. And then this I have talked about multiple times. It is a... Not a book, but like a case full of Disney postcards. From, let's see if I can get the focus, 1937 and 1961. I love these so much. They are all original works of art, and I help. They help a lot with color schemes and making sure, like, if I'm drawing a Disney character, that I'm getting the full, like, all the details correct and up close instead of looking at them online. And I also got that for Christmas, and it was on Amazon for I think like $15. Here is, uh, got it from my grandpa's house, randomly found from my dad. I haven't touched it yet, but when I do, I probably will make small videos with it. And then down here is my Sailor Moon stuff. Uh, this was made by my friend. There are earrings on the inside also, because she knows I am obsessed with Sailor Moon. Uh, I love it so much. Thank you, Leisha. And this is also another Sailor Moon case that I got for Christmas. On the bottom here, I have a ton of sketchbooks. Every kind, every size, you name it, I probably have it. Uh, no, there's pop darts. <laughs> and then I have this on the very end. 
It's a book of Disney princesses when I was working on my Disney pic my Disney painting. Um, a friend of mine got it for me online. It ranges from twenty to thirty dollars, but he found it at the bookstore for three. So that was amazing. And then this is one of my favorite artists. This is one of her books, or actually her only book. Her name is Loish, L-O-I-S-H. My sister got it for me for my birthday a couple months ago, and it is amazing. I will actually link her page down below on Instagram and Facebook. Let me try and put these back together. Okay, and then let's do like some artwork that's around my desk area. I currently, I just recently moved my desk from one corner of my room to the other corner of my room, so I don't have my inspiration board over here. So I'm going to just take a second and review over that. So over here I have a little watercolor painting I did of my friend Asia. Down here I have a fair painting, not painting, uh, art piece that I actually got from the fair. It's me and my dad. And then here is my inspiration board full of uh, current pictures from family, artworks that I've done, artwork that inspires me. Uh, and there's a little Pokemon on the very top. And then I used to work at Target, so those are bull eyes I collected. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And now for my art desk. So, behind my art, my chair, I have a backpack full of pins. I am a part of loot crates. That's what those two are for. The Star Trek and the World of Warcraft. And they're a bunch of buttons that I've collected over the years. Um, and then I got this chair from Ikea. It's nothing special. I'd rather have something comfier, but this does the job. And then on my right, I have my sketchbook three. It was in my budget, so I grabbed it, and it does the job pretty well. I would rather have a sketchbook pro or a sketchbook four, but that maybe for Christmas or something. <laughs> um, oh, and then this is a glove that I wear, so I don't smudge. So I don't like get anything else, like make other marks on the page while I'm painting or drawing or whatever. Uh, I got some tea. And then here I have some lotion because my hands dry out really well. Really well. A lot. It's, it's really late. I'm kind of tired. Um, some scissors. Random pens. Uh, white pens that I use on top to do highlighting. Um, erasers. Markers, just random little things. And then a light that I got from Goodwill, maybe two dollars. Nothing special. Uh, here is my computer. I use it for pretty much everything. And this is also for my gaming computer. I don't know what kind of computer it is because I got it as a gift from my boyfriend. So uh, if I find that out, I will let you guys know. <laughs> I got some matching speakers, water bottle for the cats. This is also part of the loot crate that I got this last month. The box turned into Harley Quinn's hammer. If you guys want to sign up for that, loot crate is a box, monthly subscription box full of nerdy, geeky, and gaming things that you get every month with a different theme. This month, or August theme, was anti-hero, so there was Har Harley Quinn, Hellboy, Kill Bill, and uh, Archer, I think. I don't watch it, so I'm not absolutely sure. Anyway, uh, back over here. There is my gaming headset and my Monsters Inc. picture. Uh, it's actually the cover of the VHS Monsters Inc. And uh, I love it so much because they all have their own they're all uh, autographed by each individual character. So I thought that was pretty unique and cool. Over here I have just this is pretty much a display easel for art and then over here I have a ton and a ton of canvases uh, these ones are 16 by 20s these ones are probably 16 by 20s these ones are 16 by 20s and this one is the other half to my Disney painting I have not touched it I have not finished it I have not even started it um, this one's just a little bit bigger but I got all of these for my birthday well, except for these ones these ones I bought so not trying to make anybody I feel bad, but uh, I got most of these as gifts. I usually get all of my art stuff as gifts every year for birthday and Christmas. And then down below I have my computer and just a couple boxes that I've gotten over the past few months. Um, up here I got 
a, I actually won this on an Instagram drawing. She doesn't do art any, well, she doesn't draw anymore. She is actually a tattoo artist or a tattoo apprentice. And I was so grateful that I actually got to see, got to have one of these before she changed careers. And then on top of my desk are these little shelving units, my Sailor Moon doodle. These are Apple Barrel paints. They're super cheap. I got them at Walmart. I think this one was like maybe $1.50. And then these ones are like $3. I'm not sure on the price. But they're super cheap. I love them. They work really well on my canvases. Uh, they're not the best quality, but they you work around it. Um, and then these are little puff paints. If you guys have seen my Seahawks cup that I did for a coker of mine somewhere on my page, uh, these are the paints that I used. I got them, I think they were like 80 something cents at Hobby Lobby or Joann's, one of the two, and uh, they're not supposed to be on plastic, they're meant for t-shirts, but they worked super great. And then I got some more little canvases that I got at Walmart, and then this I actually got at the art store. They're kind of on the expensive side, they're about seven, eight dollars a thing. Uh, this one is May Murray Acrylico? I don't know, I just look at the color and I'm like, ooh, that's the color I need. I haven't touched this, I don't know what this is used for, but I will figure it out. On the next one, I have some more smaller acrylics that I have collected over the years that come in like art packs. These are also some craft, uh, some apple barrel. These ones are craft smart. I do not like these at all. They don't do the job, they don't stick very well. Uh, they don't, I don't like these, they don't turn out the way I want them to on canvas, but I keep them anyway because who knows what I might use them for. And then on top I have some more paints. I got this little jar from my stepbrother's wedding. And then on top here I have Windsor and Newton watercolors. I have not opened them up yet so I have no clue how they work, but they're just going to sit up there for now. And then I have some more Apple Barrel paints. And then that's a mask that my sister got me from New Orleans. And then I got Kitty Blade. Whew. Uh, anyway, guys, that is my workspace tour. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or just want to know anything else, uh, just comment down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye!